First class, I didn't know how the kids was gonna react to me. It was kind of like, okay, I don't know if I want to do this yet. If I really wanted to stay in this program yet, but I'm gonna see how it work out. You can't fool a fooler, man. Come on, man. Get on up in here. Everybody, listen up. Do we have cornmeal in here? What? We have the cornmeal? Yes. Sugar? No. Oh, yeah. You did sugar, right? You did sugar. Yeah. Bacon powder? Yeah. You did baking powder. And who did the salt? No salt. Oh, no salt. No Good salt. <laughs> see, see, when you rush, then you miss an ingredient. I know, it wasn't you. I said, but when you rush. I was a high school rebel, true that. I did everything I wasn't supposed to do, you know. I always try to get around the easy way and try to try to go through the hard way. Okay, don't, don't over mix it. Growing up, it was um, kind of a rough road for me, you know not having my daddy really there, or really not having my mama there at all. So who eat muffins with the berries in them at home? I, did. I, I see did. the value it puts out to the kids. They really take it in, like, okay, this man is really trying to help us out. He cared for us, like I didn't get, you know what I'm saying? Here, put it in there. What? You wanna put it in there? Yeah, put it. There were a lot of challenges when he started. Chronic lateness was one of them. And yes, it's a horrific commute, but the bottom line is I need you here. I'm paying you to be my assistant. And if you're not here, you're not assisting me. So we need to get over this. We sat down and talked, and she told me what she needed for me and that she needed me there on time because she needed me before the day started. And I told her I needed a little bit of understanding on where I was coming from, and I told her my situation. His living situation was very tenuous. His financial situation was hand to mouth, basically. And he was also dealing with uh, some physically violent situations that literally prevented him from coming to work a few days. For him to speak to me about this, we have no history together. I felt like me and Esther was gonna start to bond because she seemed like she was a real caring person. I felt like I was at home and I felt like I'd be able to talk to somebody when I need somebody to talk to. Listen to me, listen to me. Hey, let's cut up all the noise. I need y'all to be here with it. Do you know what here would it mean? Yes, yeah. coach. What is this? What's up in here? Heart. 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 No, our destiny. I found out it was a job open for the coaching position. I just took the challenge because there was nobody else stepping up to it. And then plus, I love working with kids anyway, so I felt that would be a good chance for me to just buckle down with a group of men and work down with them and get their skills right. Hey, that's all right. Huddle up. <laughs>